Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lourdes Sitches and welcome. So I have a few things that are new to go over um, from this collection. It's another Buff Bunny collection. This collection is called The Naked Collection. And one thing that is particular about this collection is that it is all neutrals. Here's the thing. I'm not a fan of neutrals and yet I found myself buying from this review. I'm sorry, <laughs> buying from this collection. And not only buying from this collection, but going back two more times. So I have a few things that I want to go over with you guys. If you guys are interested, stay with me and we'll go through everything basically that I have. I'm going to go item by item and give you my 100% honest review. I'm not sponsored by Buff Bunny. I buy all of these things with my own money out of my own pocket. And I just want to see if anyone out there is pretty much like me about my size. And if you guys are interested, stick along with me. If you actually enjoyed this review, give me a comment or like or subscribe. You know, no obligation. Just if you like it, just let me know and I can keep making this these kinds of videos for you. And even more so, if you like it and you have any tips or hints that you might want to give me something, you know, maybe for the future, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I am more than open to any suggestions. So come with me. Uh, this quick little intro is going to end quickly because we're just going to dive right into all of this stuff. We're going to go over basically what I'm wearing right now. And this is the ribbed seamless tank. I have my computer here for some notes that I want to give you guys something a little bit more informed and a little bit more organized. So this is the rib seamless tank. I got it in two colors. I absolutely fell in love with this tank. I have it in white and here I have it in beige. This color is called Stardust. This little ribbed seamless tank is so comfortable. This is one you might not want to pass up. I think, I believe they still have some available in i will tell you right now white i believe no i'm sorry stardust so if you want it go get it um this is a very cute seamless rib tank there is no shelf bra some people tell you there's a shelf bra but what i think a shelf bra is is actual support so this little guy comes with a liner that's not a bra not in my opinion um as you can see this little liner right here separates from the main top and basically it, it provides like a little extra fabric uh to protect you you know from being exposed but there is no cup pads, there is no bra, there is no elastic that will latch onto your body, onto your breasts, and keep you held in. Basically, this is as simple as it gets. It is just a very basic tank, cropped. And this particular one is a size medium. So it is very cute, very comfortable. Since it's ribbed, it sticks tightly to your body and it's let me go ahead and show you what you guys what it looks like all right guys so let's begin with the ribbed seamless tank so here it is this is a size medium for me um so how i said i usually go with smalls for uh bras but when it comes to uh tops i usually go with a medium so uh boob size bra wise I am a 34C. Um, I do like compression. I do like to be held in. I don't like my boobs jiggling and bouncing all over the place. <laughs> I'm a little bit more modest when it comes to that. So I try to keep myself all centered and not squared away and not hidden, but still looking good and still looking cute. So this top, I always go, I like I said, beginning to say, I go with um, medium size shirts when it comes to uh, women's tops. If it's like a men's shirt, obviously I'll go with a small, um, but that all depends. So 
anyway uh this one it looks really cool really comfortable i'll show you the back it's basically got like a bit of a razor back design not so slender but a little bit more open very comfortable super ribbed you know i'm sure you can see it i hope you can and the deal about this one is down here so this little fabric is all it comes with currently i have a bra pad that i just inserted in there because it doesn't come with a bra so the only reason i am staying you know normal looking i would say normal looking you know like my nipples are not obvious they're not out they're not out there screaming for uh attention is because i put these bra pads inside from another bra and that's it basically this has no support whatsoever and that is the only bad thing about it if it had the little shelf bra i think it would have been an a plus plus but for now for me it's about an a minus almost getting to a p a b because i just i really wish it just had some just a little bit of support just a little bit of support it doesn't even have to have the liner just like a thing with two um stitched bra pads on either side just to keep me keep each one in their lane keep each one separated or you know covered and more supported that would be great this provides no support whatsoever no support um but it is very cute for the summer very cute for the summer i'll try on this the white one so you guys can see it okay guys here's the white one as promised it's basically the same thing um you can tell so if you have the white one uh try to put on some cup pads if you're into putting on cup pads on the inside i don't put it under the liner i put it on the inside against my breast between my breast and the first fabric of the shirt um try not to wear back cup pads like i'm wearing right here um because i'm sure you can see it i can see it so try to wear something um skin color nude color or try to wear something i would say uh wear a white one um even the white one you can probably still see it so yeah just keep that in mind um very comfortable god i keep saying very comfortable but it just it really is this is perfect i keep thinking like for a day in the park riding bikes skates taking a walk um a picnic heck a beach day just out and about it's just super cute and super comfortable Heck, I bought some from Abercrombie that I'm thinking about returning just because these are so much better. Okay, guys, next up is the Go With The Flow crop. This comes in black. There's two more colors available on the website still. Mocha and white. The one I got is black. So this is what it looks like. It's very see-through. So mind you, if you put on a white bra, like if I put it on this tank, which is not even white. This is the Stardust color, which is beige. You can see through it, you know? Just keep that in mind. If you wanna wear this and be a little bit more modest, maybe try black. Or if you don't have to try black, you can try, you can try whatever color you want. But if you wanna keep it more modest, if you don't want your bottom to be so obvious, then go with a black color. So this one is cropped. The reason why it looks like this is because basically this is a hole in the back. I mean, it's, it's pretty large, you can tell. Um, this little strap, you can put it forward. You could put it the other way, which I'll be showing you guys. And then it basically has like a little tie down here in the bottom. It's very cute when it's on. And yeah. Yep, this is basically... Very cute, very lightweight. I mean, you can wear this for regular, but for regular wear, you know, to go out. If you want, you know, like grocery haul, that kind of thing, or 
hot girl walk, what have you. But um, I would probably just wear it for the gym, me, myself. All right, guys. Here is the go with the flow crop. I have the tag on it. I just haven't taken it off, but nothing, nothing that I ordered is going back. Nothing that I ordered is going back at all. Like, I am keeping all of this. You see the tag on it? I'm not one of these people that buy, review, and return. Um, I can be if I really didn't like something, but everything from this collection is beloved. <laughs> it is 100% beloved. I love everything here, and I am 100% going to keep it. <laughs> 100 percent um so here it is um the bra that i had just worn the naked sports bra look how great it looks with this right now you can see it kind of combined with my shorts but here i am folding it down so that you guys can see up to where it goes i'm five seven and a half mind you so my belly button hits right here this is where it's hitting me right now see it so basically if you wore a lighter color obviously this is gonna be more obvious but look at the way it looks right now with a black bra like I said I would wear it with a white bra a red bra a yellow bra it doesn't even matter I love the way it looks it's very lightweight and it joins with the leggings so that everything looks pretty copacetic so here's how it looks in the back exposing whatever it is you've got going on here as the back bra and it's very light very airy I'm gonna try it on for you guys the other way so that you guys can see how it looks with this back over here and then this part All right, guys here it is the other way maybe with another bra this would look a little bit better maybe then you'd be able to see it um, but the back basically crisscrosses and ties together all down here. All down here. So the front, if you could do a very deep plunge of a V right here with this little, you know, um, I don't know what to call this. This, this little, um, uh, oh God, whatever this is. <laughs> This little tie, this this little um string or what have you, uh, to keep it all together so that you're not you know basically falling out as I am right now. So, here is how it looks in the back. Pretty simple. If you want to cover your back more than you want to cover your front, you could do it this way too. This top is very uh, uh what's the word um, uh, <laughs> it's multi talent my favorite out of this entire collection at least when it comes to tops is the mousse long sleeve tee i got it in black and i got it in the beige color stardust this guy is just perfect it says moves over here in the corner so you can see it it says move and the s continues right here on the sleeve here you go s and it says buff bunny down there and basically, it's just a plain black cotton t-shirt, 100% cotton. I'll be trying this on for you guys. Let me get the other one. Mind you, I had this one on yesterday all day here in the Miami heat weather. It probably wasn't a good idea, but I felt so cute and I was so happy with it. So basically, I wore the heck out of it yesterday. So here it is in beige. Can't wait to wear this one too. Same thing, basically. This is a size medium. So I decided to go up a little bit just because um, it's very, since it's cottony, you know, cotton tends to shrink a little bit after you wash it, dry it, you know, and also they tend to wrinkle a lot. So just keep in mind um, when you're buying it that, yeah, it, it'll probably shrink. So that's why I went up to a medium. But otherwise, um, usually I'm a size small in these things. Um, I'm five seven and a half, 145 ish pounds. Um, but I like to uh, not be so tight. Keep it airy and flowy. Not incredibly oversized. Like I don't like things that look like basically I'm wearing a parachute. But 
also comfortable and flowy and also not like so sucked in at the same time so uh let's get over to the try -on. and then here is the mousse long sleeve tee i'll try on the black one for you because i also have the black one so this is the one that i was saying that i just i love this i love long sleeve shirts it's just the cozy vibes for me i don't know um so this is a medium i could have definitely have gone with a small 100 percent could have gone with a small but you know what i have no regrets it's very drapey and it is exactly the way that i like it you know it's just slightly slightly oversized um some people might think differently because look at all that i have extra but i'm sorry this is not meant for it to be a fitted shirt it's meant for it to be loose for it to be comfortable you can roll up the sleeves obviously you know everything that you would do with any normal long sleeve tee and if you can see moves move word buff bunny co <laughs> collection you see the s it continues over here collection over there very comfortable cotton not to mention you know don't forget this is cotton so it could get more than a little bit wrinkled let's try on let's try on the black okay guys here's the black one same thing i didn't get the brown one i wanted to get the brown one but honestly it's just it's so much <laughs> at some point you have to stop yourself you know especially remembering that i'm i'm not sponsored um by these guys by buff bunny at all so i'm buying this with my own money um gotta work a lot of overtime hours to pay this kind of stuff off so it's not exactly the cheapest brand but it is definitely quality i love this t-shirt you know it honestly it can't be any better for me it can't be any better just honestly i love the fit absolutely love the fit if this is you and they still have some left on the website i say next up we have the foxy sports bra this is the first time that i get this bra this bra has been available since the i believe 70s collection which i did not like i did like this bra but i didn't like the colors that it was available in so when they came out with this one in stardust can be sure that i snatched it i i love this color like i said i am not a fan of neutrals i don't know what what, what happened to me maybe i blocked out <laughs> i have no idea but here i am and here it is and it looks very comfortable made of newbie collection um i can't wait to try this on size small size small remember for me it's size small and bras i love the support i need the support Let's try it okay. on. Here I have on the Foxy Sports Bra. This is the color Stardust. This is size small. Uh, several thoughts about this one. She's cute. She is. I gotta give her that. By the way, my, my breasts end here. And the long line begins here. I can forgive that. It's not a big deal. Um, especially because you can always bring it up a bit if you want and then i'm sure if you started working out in the gym this is gonna as all sports bras do they roll up just the slightest bit mine mostly end up like this so um very comfortable very comfortable although i wish i had sized up in this bra so here's the reason why I feel like my back is sandwiched. Um, like I said, I'm a fan of compression for the breasts, but I am not a fan of looking like super, super tight. Like I feel like my skin is popping out of here. My skin is popping out here and it's bringing things down. Um, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm being a bit critical. Maybe if I lose some weight, it'll all look good. But uh, basically I'm not buying clothing to lose weight and then for it to sit there until I look good enough to wear it. I wanna wear it now. I wanna wear it to the gym. I wanna wear it wherever I wanna wear it. So, um, 
yeah, I'm just, it is comfortable. It is very supportive. I would say it's medium support. I don't feel any bounce. You might see it, but I don't feel it. It's not hurting me in any way. I'm just not a fan of how it looks in the back. There are some adjustments, um, which I have not touched. And the bra is 100% beautiful. It's just, that I don't know. I just don't feel like it's the best for me right now. It's very cute and I'll probably still wear it. I don't see myself returning it. Um, it's just the back. I just feel like it's a little bit too stretched out. But that's my opinion. Anyway, so it is very beautiful. Very, very cute. I keep showing the back. I just want you guys to see the whole thing. Um, I'm not getting any side boob. Even though I was just bouncing around out there. I'm not getting any side boob. I'm getting a slight bit of cut in. But like I said, I sized down. I probably would have been okay if this had been a medium. But I'll take it as it is. Still a good bra. Next up we have the Naked sports bra so i got this one in black because it is available in black and in brown however i thought it was too obvious uh with the brown that you could see this little mesh detail i'm sure that you can see it here i hope you can you see it it comes right from the middle all the way down into the center of the bust it's a basic racerback design back here. It's very cute. Um, looks like it's gonna be interesting. It looks smaller than what I was expecting. Still made of Newberry collection. It has an elastic down here to keep you in. This is what I would call a short uh, line sports bra, not a long line. So let's give it a shot. I still haven't tried this one on, but let's give it a shot. I'm I'm excited to see it on and here we have the naked sports bra so this is the one um like i said i wasn't going for anything in this collection and then i convinced myself that maybe i could pull it off maybe i could do it maybe it'll look good maybe um i don't know i i convinced myself that i could do this you know um I could pull off this bra, I could pull off uh, buying some black clothing, um, that it would look good. And when I saw um, Heidi, uh, the owner of Buff Bunny Collection, I saw one of her stories, she was wearing this one. I'm not exactly sure if it was this color or not. And I thought, wow, that looks really cute, but you couldn't even see this. You could not see this mesh going all the way through. And I thought, I have to have it. And I ordered it. And guess what? I don't regret it. I don't regret it. I love the look. It covers perfectly. The side, I don't feel like the sides of my breasts are going to pop out at all. I mean, at all. You can tell. Like, that would be really an impossibility. Um, it looks really, really good. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just so surprised because I saw it on them and they honestly they look like supermodels and Here I am. I don't look anything like them, but yet it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful to me Let's test out the support medium. I would say medium. I Am not moving at all in this ball and here is the back Razorback It's totally a Razorback ball very cute, very black, <laughs> very plain, but also with a hint of a window, a little window here of cleavage, which you can't really see. I mean, maybe you can see it now because I'm under a light and I'm basically I'm talking about it. So you guys are focusing on it. But otherwise, if you were to stand in front of me, you cannot see, you cannot see in here. Very cute. Um, just this is like one of my favorites. I love the look of it. I love this whole 
out in this it's got like an hourglass kind of design you know in and out and I really thought that I was gonna have like upper under boob spill but nothing nothing I am not cut in any way here not at all okay here we have the contour seamless five inch shorts so my favorite thing in the world is a short that's six inches six inches for me is 100 percent the most excellent length that you could possibly have but i gotta say that these come close five inches i'm okay with i can deal with it um but let's see how it does you know walking doing some jumping jacks running around being at the gym if they roll up they fail for me um i can't stand having the big shorts out of my thighs i just i can't stand it you know i don't have any issues with any leggings or shorts that were sitting up on my waist the issue is my thighs trying to eat it um this same as the leggings have shorts which is very awesome very comfortable i can't wait to use this in my future trip to bush gardens like 100 percent. this is gonna be very comfortable and i'm sorry about sniffling and so much you know i have allergies I apologize let's try okay this. here we have the contour five inch pocket short these i got in black the majority of the things i got in this collection are black if you haven't noticed here are the shorts my main concern because they're very soft and very comfortable my main concern is how squat proof are they right and can they fit my phone <laughs> Because, as we all know, some shorts, some leggings, they're just not great at holding the phone. Like, they'll lose their quality over time. And some of them are tight fits. This kind of feels like a tight fit even for my hands. Like, I'm literally getting squished fingers just putting them in there. So, let's start first with the squat proofness. I hope you guys can see this. So I can't go all the way down because then I'll be out of frame. But I'd say they're pretty squat proof. I would say they are. Um, comes right up. Not the highest waist, but it is high waist. Belly button is there. Still there, obviously. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. And then the most important thing for me is the phone and it sticks up so obviously they come stitched from here to here usually the shorts the pockets they go from this side to this side instead you know like the higher stitch over here and lower stitch down here sometimes they don't even go slanted like this sometimes they go straight across but with this one it's slanted from the back towards the front so I feel like I could push it in there if I really wanted to and it'll stay out just a little bit. Imagine walking out and about and your phone is sticking out just a little bit. If that doesn't bother you, then you can go with it. If it does, keep it in mind, you know, your phone won't be completely hidden. But then in a way, it's kind of good because you won't forget that it's there. I guess it depends. I guess it depends. However you want to see it. Very comfortable shorts. No regrets. I say comfortable because everything in this collection seems to have been a uh, Newberry collection. Newberry fabric. And it is very, very soft material. So, of course, it's, it's okay. comfortable. Here we have the contour pocket legging. Contour Pocket Legging in color Brady Brown. Not a fan of browns, but this gives me more of a brick terracotta feel, doesn't it? I think it does. Um, it's very nice, obviously. This is all made from the Newberry fabric, their softest fabric. It's beautiful, looks comfortable. It's got pockets, very exciting. We all love pocket leggings. Like, 
I have trips coming up. I can't be having my phone on my hand. We need pockets just to live. And basically, these leggings, they, um, what's it say? Uh, they mark, they, they, they check mark everything on the list. Beautiful contour seam, uh, not contour seam, I'm sorry. Uh, flattering booty seam, the pockets, the soft fabric, the feel, uh, full length, not full length, seven eighths, 25 inch kind of inseam kind of thing. Comfortable and stretchy. Well, let's see if it's comfortable. All right. Here we have the contour pocket legging. So there's another pocket legging available and that is the Rosa pocket legging. Um, I have the Rosas. I'm a fan of the Rosas. These are more compressive than the Rosa. Way more compressive. From the moment that you're putting it on and slipping it past my hardest area, my hips, you can feel it. You can feel these are way more compressive. In a way I like it, in a way I don't. My deal with these is basically I like the compression while I have them on. I hate having to get them up. And I hate having to fidget with them. I literally, I'm not the type of person to put on leggings and then just leave them as they are. I have to accommodate myself. I have to bring them up out from behind my knees like they bunch up here and I have to bring them up. That's basically the biggest problem that I have is just having to get them up and get them situated. But after they're situated, I mean, I really like them. And I definitely see myself wearing them at the gym or even going out in them, you know, or whatever we come from, a weekend, you know, go to the movies, uh, go to do the groceries, whatever, whatever you may do on the weekend. So, uh, squat proof, uh, I'd say, I'd say it's there, medium. I don't really have like a scale for these things, but I am wearing a new thong, so you can't really see it. Uh, I would recommend stick to something nude. I always wear nude underwear when I um, go out in leggings or whatever, because I know that fabric stretches out and you can probably see things. So, um, seven eighths length. It has the stitching, which splits off from the side, from the pocket, all the way down, across your shin, all the way behind, your calf muscle, basically, I'm trying to get it, sorry guys, and then it comes all the way back up, leading all the way to the other side of the pocket stitch, okay? I'd say it looks pretty good, all right. Let's try the phone again. That actually fits better than the shorts. What happened with the shorts? Maybe because they were shorts, they didn't have that much space? <laughs> no. I don't know, but this fits great. It doesn't feel tight. It doesn't even feel tight. Let's see, it doesn't feel tight when I put my hands in. See, I can actually, actually fit my fingers in there comfortably. The other one was like squishing all my fingers in together. This one, it even slides right in. I love it. 100% love. Um, this is a size medium. I would recommend stick to the size. Whatever your size may be, go for that one. Neither smaller nor larger. True to size. Okay, next is the ribbed seamless legging. Now I have thoughts about this. Um, I am an Alpha Lee Amplify fan. And this is giving me Alpha Lee Amplify vibes. This is a black seamless legging. Very, very stretchy, okay? Rimmed all the way through. All the way through. In the end, it kind of changes. 
a little bit you see the ribbing right here i hope you can see this i really do um basically you see the ribbing there and then in the bottom towards the leg or ankle it changes okay so the top is tapered if you see it you see how i have that little smile line it comes right up it's tapered so that helps cinch in the waist a little bit um it kind of looks compressive i'm kind of nervous about it because i really like the way it amplifies fit um sometimes i do get a little bit of muffin top because it just it cinches so so well that it just um compresses the rest of my stomach and anything that's extra is just gonna spill out so i'm kind of nervous about this one i hope it you know the same thing doesn't happen but sometimes that does happen to me with amplify uh basically it's all ribbed in the front and then we have it looks like two levels of compression so and this might be the tighter part this might be the lighter part and then of course the main attraction the star of the show we have a scrunch and a beautiful v-seam it looks very very nice so i am excited this one doesn't have a small uh, um sorry a smile line like the uh bbl leggings i didn't buy those i wasn't a fan of that under contour it's just not me uh the more basic it looks the happier i am so let's give this okay and this is the last legging this is the ribbed seamless legging so my issue with ribbed leggings is always the fact that when you take them off you have a little bit of the compression marks because ribbed is naturally very um, compressive. Not a whole lot of compressive, but semi-compressive. So usually when I take off ribbed leggings, they leave marks on me. Now I can't tell you that right now because I just popped them on. And by the time I take them off, it won't be enough time for me to tell you if there's actually ribbed markings of compression down my leg. Maybe that's just me. I have bad compression. <laughs> bad circulation i have no idea but so far it feels very comfortable it doesn't feel so tight where i have to take them off or limit it to using it one or two hours of the day i feel like i could go all day with these they don't have any pockets um let me see if i can get close enough although i did show you in the preview just how ribbed they are the ribbing goes all the way down up until about mid shin calf and then all the way down it just basically changes texture completely different texture in the bottom still very stretchy it's not compressive or more compressive or least compressive at all uh here's the back as i said similar to the alpha Lee amplify I tried to get them as close as I possibly could to an amplify situation. If you want the wedgie feel, these are the ones. Um, if you do not want the wedgie feel, skip over these because this is definitely the wedgie feel. Um, it doesn't quite gather in as much as I would say as the amplify. But it still does look really good. The scrunch is doing something. Um, sorry guys, I don't have a very big voluminous booty. I'd say I'm mostly flat in that area. I'm showing you basically what I got to offer. Wish I had more, but there's nothing right there. So basically, it, it looks really good. Let's give it a little squat. Everything kind of sheer. It looks a little sheer. It looks a little sheer, guys. To be honest, I still won't hold back. <laughs> I'll still definitely wear it. And it looks really good with a little bit of with a little pop of beige, to be honest with you. I really like the way it looks. Um, maybe just don't wear these for leg day. Maybe upper body day. You know, treadmill stair master it you know spin class do a little cycling do a little running just maybe don't do these 
wear these for leg day if you are shy about some cheek area being just a little sheer it's not that sheer i don't have a meter or anything like that to offer you guys a more detailed um a more detailed measurement of how sheer it is but take it from me it's a little sheer just a little okay next up we have the ivy bodysuit i got this one in black regular size medium i always go with these kinds of things i always go with my bottom size some people will tell you to go with your top size, but since I like to put on for my sports bras, I like to be more compressed. I like to feel uh, the control of support. So I always size down on my sports bras. So I can't really go with my bra size because my hips will not fit into a small. So I went with my bottom size and that's what I recommend if they have a restock because this is currently sold out. But if they have a restock, go with your bottom size unless you're like me and then you have to kind of compensate one for the other so this little guy i tried it on already you see the tags on it but literally this is just tried on it is so beautiful like i cannot even tell you it is so beautiful it is so comfortable the cutouts it's not even tight on the back it's just perfect four inch bottom shorts Let's get into trying it on. I can't wait. Okay, and here we have the last one that I have. This is the Ivy bodysuit. So the Ivy bodysuit, as you can tell, is a full-on bodysuit. <laughs> Full top, connected to the shorts. Very soft. I'll keep saying it. It's soft. It's soft because it's Nube fabric. Um, so it feels extra soft on the skin. These shorts, this bodysuit, doesn't come with any pockets. Which is kind of a shame. I wish it did. Um, I'm not the kind of person to want pockets on everything. But some things you do want. So, the shorts are 4 inches. Testing them out. To see how much they will roll up. And yeah, they are. They are rolling up, they're four inches. I mean, what can we expect? If this happens to you, if you're as tall as me or have some wide thighs, that's gonna happen. Um, whether you can deal with it or not is totally up to you. Um, the top, the top feels fantastic. 100%, it's not tight, it has. A supporter bra this is the kind of supporter bra that i wished that this guy had instead of just this little fabric you see it's inside out so you can see it instead of just this little fabric that has no cup pad or anything like that this one actually does have a liner in here with some cup pads each in their own lane in order to help you keep your breasts in support. The back, to me, the back is perfect. The back is beautiful. It's not like a super stretch situation, kind of like how a foxy bra looked on me, if you saw that part. The foxy bra uh, basically just, I feel like it stretched out and it made it look like all of my back was just trying to pop out of the seams. This one, no. This one is very soft, um, very cohesive stitching. Not that the other one didn't have cohesive stitching, but you know what I mean? Um, what I'm trying to say is it's not um, so tight in the back area because straps tend to do that. Up here, I'm getting down on my knees here. Up here, you have these little guys. They're adjustable. And you can also take these little guys off goodness my allergies okay almost both of them do this so you can get it on and off very easily uh this little guy is adjustable so you can pull it all the way up i'm not gonna pull it because it seems to be a little hard to pull keep that in mind you can pull it up you can pull it down pulling it all the way down 
make sure that my traps are not being squeezed, which would be very painful. So yeah, 100% <laughs> to be honest with you. I love it. I can't wait to wear it. Um, whenever we go on whatever trip we go on, I know for sure I'm going to be wearing this. Um, let me get back up. <laughs> Even though the shorts, the shorts are just, if they had made them six inch or even five inch, like the contour pocket short, I would have been happier, but it's still something that I can maneuver. It's not that bad. You know, it'd be worse if it was like a two inch, then I'd be like basically wearing <laughs> like a really short onesie. And yeah, it's pretty fantastic. I like it. I love it a lot. This is one of my top choices one of my top favorite things for this collection it is sold out it comes in a brown color it is sold out but if you hit that little um notify me thing the little notify me button put in your email they will email you and let you know as soon as they reach and last but not least we have the dad hat basic little dad hat you know it's um i don't have much of a head for hats i have a small head <laughs> It's very cute, matches the outfit, and yeah, there's not much to say about it. You know, the back has this um, leather uh, adjustment, so you pick this up, and you move it down, you move it forward, inward, outward, stick it in, Just basic operation, you know, press it down to latch it shut. And it still has a little insert in there. It's very cute. Hey guys, so that concludes this Buck Bunny Naked review. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, just to put as a reminder out there, once again, I'm not sponsored by Buck Bunny. I haven't been sent anything. This all comes for me. Um, it all comes from my wallet. It all comes from my overtime working. It all comes basically from my side and I just wanted to give you guys a review if any of you guys are like me um I know there's tons of other reviews out there great reviewers great youtubers that give 100% awesome details I know because I follow them myself too there's some people that I follow that I will not buy things unless I see their review first and I'm just hoping that maybe you can enjoy my video too so if you like it, please, you know, um, think about giving it a thumbs up if you like it. If you have any comments, any questions, go ahead and leave that in the comment section. And if you're into these videos and want to see more of them, think about subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.